health experts at Driscoll Children's Hospital are seeing more vitiligo patients interested in a new form of treatment. Our Victoria Balderrama joins us in the studio. Victoria, what is vitiligo and how will this treatment make a difference? It's estimated more than one million Americans suffer from vitiligo, a disease that causes discolored patches of the skin. Driscoll Children's Hospital tells us there has been a rise in the number of children who are diagnosed with vitiligo. Brendan Castrejon is only one young boy who manages this condition. When people ask me, like, like what's the, like, what's the white spots I have, I say, I say it, I say it is skin condition called vitiligo, it, it, it discolors your skin. With Brendan is his mom, Desiree Ledma. She says she first noticed something was wrong a year ago. Within six months, Brendan's vitiligo spread to his feet, his hands, and his face. You don't really know what to expect in his age. You don't really, uh, I, I think it's a little bit harder for him to understand that what he has is incurable. At 11 years old, Brendan goes to Driscoll Children's Hospital twice a week for therapy to treat his vitiligo. Getting him ready to do the phototherapy and so like that took longer because the actual part, the phototherapy part, wasn't even like 45 seconds. Like he'd get in and get out. Pediatric dermatologist Emily Becker explains how tough it is to treat this skin condition. Our existing treatment options for vitiligo right now are actually some topical medication um, like topical steroids. They have their own set of, of course, side effects. With the FDA approving Upcellera cream this year for the treatment of vitiligo in adult and pediatric patients 12 years of age and older, Becker says this will improve the quality of life for patients. At about 24 weeks, which is close to six months, the majority of our patients, around about 30%, achieved 75% improvement in their vitiligo. In two weeks, Brendan will turn 12, and that means he'll be old enough to be prescribed Obcellera. He knows, again, it's not curable, but uh, maybe if it kind of helps some of those spots uh, gain a little bit of color back, I think he's open to anything. Vitiligo patients will need to see their dermatologist or a specialist to be prescribed this new topical treatment. To read more about its effectiveness, head to our website, ChrisTV.com. Reporting in the studio, I'm Victoria Balderrama for Chris 6 News.